Hello, my name is Odelia Mirzadeh and I'm the co-founder of Innovative Speech and Language Pathology. Today I will be discussing with you some treatment methods for stuttering. Stuttering is the interruption of flow of speech caused by blocks, insertions, repetitions of sounds, partial words or partial sentences, and it may accompany with itself some secondary behaviors such as head jerks, head nods, eye blinks. These interruptions affect the person's speech, flow, rhythm, and as well as their behavior and emotional aspect of their communication intent in their environment, which is why it is also advisable that aside from a speech and language client, a emotional aspect of their disfluencies and how it's affecting them in their social setting. Various treatment options for stuttering may be easy onset, block release, uh, prolongations, and some uses of different programs such as Speak Freely, Litco methods, amongst others. Easy onset will be for example, an example of an easy onset will be when you're teaching the client to not have such a vocal attack when they're trying to speak. For example, if they want to say the word on, they can say on as opposed to on where it's an attack. Block release is where a client has a block and for example, they want to say door and they get blocked on the first sound, which is door. They're trying to say it, but nothing's coming out. So what you have the client do is the minute they have a block, you help them to get out of the block and repeat the word again with an, with an easy onset or a prolongation. So they're blocking on door. So as they're blocking, you give them the cue to stop so it's not effortful anymore. They stop and they start again using an easy onset or a prolongation. Speak Freely is a method which they use the client's body to help identify where the tension is and get out of that tension. There's another program that's used for younger children and young, younger individuals and that's a Litcom method. That method involves the clinician, the client, and as well the caregiver directly. So whatever it is that you're doing inside the therapy room, the parent or the caregiver will facilitate it inside the home setting. So you're taking over and you're carrying over the therapy methods. And that directly works with the client on a reward system where they get to catch their own mistakes and every time they do that, you reward them with something. And the moment where they're having more fluent speech is rewarded a lot more than when they're having disrupted speech. These are some of the methods that will help with stuttering treatment.